So today I have to harvest some okra. And anybody who has grown okra knows that it takes probably about a month for the plant to get situated in the ground. And you start to get like little small okras every now and then. And then they just start pushing out okra. And if you don't catch them before, like at like a finger length size around my finger, they'll start to get real spiny. And what I pre what I prefer to do with those, uh, my logic behind it is if I get some that are too big, I will still send them. Um, and I'll let the person or the entity that's buying them from us know. And then I hope that they communicate that to the people the food is going to. If I'm directly selling it, I'll communicate them to them. You can harvest the seeds. So it's a way to uh, get some free okra seeds. You just dry them out and turn brown, store them in a jar um, in an area that doesn't have a lot of sunlight, doesn't get too hot, like a cabinet in your home. And then you can plant them next year. That's typically my idea behind it. But what I decided to um, show you all today is how to actually harvest the okra. And I have these clippers here that are um, really useful. They are dram compact shears. And I love these. I highly re recommend that if you're going to be harvesting peppers, tomatoes, um, even cucumbers, anything where it's like a, you have to have a fine cut. And you don't want to roll squash, zucchini, anything like that. I mean, even tomatoes to an extent, if you just don't pull them off. Um, but if you had slicer tomatoes, you could use these would be really good to use. But um, I prefer to use these shears because they're compact and they're really sharp, too. So watch your fingers and you can get a fine cut. They're very precise. So I'm going to show you all how um, I go through and harvest the okra and what I'm looking for while I'm harvesting the okra. If you've been following any of the uh, vlogs, you notice that we've made a major change. We're getting our cucumbers out now. And as soon as I got them down, I felt like a beautiful gust of wind come through. And that helps a lot with ventilation in these houses and the plants. Love that. It helps them grow more effectively. So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and start identifying the okra that I want. And then I will begin to uh, cut and harvest them. So y'all can go ahead and join me with that. In a quick second what I'm looking for with the okra I'm looking for them as I mentioned to be finger size finger length so and I have a bin right here this is my bin that I'll use I try to wipe it out make sure it's clean and I'm going for okra that are these things are covered in red ants by the way like I just got bit but the, I'm looking for okra around this size it's about my finger a little bit large I guess my middle finger almost a little bit around there. This is like on the border of how um, how I want them to look to harvest. So here's one that's too big. I don't know where these red ants are coming from. They're tearing me up though. Um, here's another one um, that's good size. And it's still, it's not firm, it's not woody yet. So I'll see if I can find one that's too big. I think this one right here will be one that will, that'll be, you can, you can kind of see it. It's kind of it's kind of woody and firm. I wouldn't want to send one like this, but I do. If I didn't send it, I do like to see kind of sweet. Now I'll just put this over here. Uh, here's some more. This is a good size here. Um, it's another good size here. It's not it's not firm, and I'll go through and find these, and I'll go on each side of the plant, and I'll do this. The ones that are a little bit hard, I'm just gonna drop those on the ground and leave those, and then I'll come back and pick those up after I get done harvesting. But ideally, I should have picked these okra about two weeks ago. And um, but that's just on me. I'm just I'm just a little late. But one, with, after this pruning, we'll be back in our normal flow of harvesting the okra at the correct stage. Yeah, so this one right here is kind of woody too. It's woody. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's woody too. This right here is perfect size. But it just take me about 30 minutes to go through and to and to get these um, off. You can move fairly quick. 
And you can see how precise these shears are. So it's not bad. And some of these are a little bit larger. Some of them are woody and some of them aren't. So that's why you see me kind of just playing with them a little, just a little tad bit, just to kind of see they're on that threshold. But this is what I'll do. I'll go through and do this uh, for everything. So I did lose out on a little bit of okra. Um, it is a good one. This right here is a little woody. This one right here is too. So I'll just put these on the ground and we'll just harvest their seeds. I, um, this is a good crop of okra that we have this year. So I, I do wanna, um, I like these genetics on this. So I'll take it upon myself just to go through and do some seed saving this year, which is always a good thing to do. But this is our first round and I'll just take my bin and I'll just go all the way. I'll go all the way down. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, and I believe this is crimson um, okra. I'm not sure though, but that's something I will uh, put in the, I'll put that in the uh, description. If you have any questions, just let me know. Y'all probably gonna notice also, I have a change of attire. This is probably, this is my second time growing okra. And one thing I learned maybe a fourth of the way through is that I forgot, and like I've heard it, okra makes you itch. So you need to do it with sleeves on. I would do this with cucumbers, tomatoes, and also um, okra. I'm trying to think there's anything else that makes me itch right off the bat. Yeah, the, the okra, kind of got to me so I just got like a little jacket a little makeshift jacket that like an old jacket I'll wear here's our harvest off of this which I think is, is pretty is decent just from the fact that we have probably a third of that maybe that we're going to take and harvest for seed but typically what happens with plants that um, typically fruit or have a high output once you get the uh, once you have your first harvest the output increases so I'll, I'll be on top of this okra and let you all know how it looks as we go through, um, as we head into fall. But um, I'm, I'm proud of this harvest. We'll get a lot of this out this week. And um, just don't forget to wear something protective over your arms. Celery can be like that too, I've read. But I'm just thinking of anything that's made me itch. And I'll just um, continue to put reminders in it. I went ahead and got all the okra that I felt like was too hard to go to market. And me and the boys will probably make a video on Sunday of us uh, harvesting okra. But, um, or just okra seeds and drying them out and storing them. But um, one thing that saved me some time and that I saw, is this one, kinda hard. One thing that I noticed with them was that the ones that were darker green, even though they were a little bit larger than what we want to send to market if they aren't dark green they were uh, good to harvest into um, send to market or to send to um, a, uh, a community or sell to people but the ones that were darker green those are ones that were really hard you see this you, see, you, you can hear it. those were the ones I could just skip over and automatically knew so to save yourself some time if you ever do what I just did in Harvest Late, the ones that are lighter green are ones that are edible. The ones that are darker are going to be good to use to save the seed. So that's a little quick tip uh, just to save yourself some time on harvesting. So I'll get in here and I'll harvest every week now just to keep the plant productive as we head into the fall.